A lot of human activities generate greenhouse gases, and according with the Paris Agreement, one way to mitigate the climate change is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, because we are generating a lot of electricity, transportation, heating buildings, and many materials like steel and cement, causing a lot of pollution. Last year, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released a new report which states that climate change is generalized, rapid, and intense. Before, we need to change our economy to green energy and to have new scientific contributions. For example, in geotechnical and fracture mechanics in geothermal energy, if we want to reach the goal of zero emission by the French government in 2050. And I am Mar Rodriguez Villarreal, PhD student in civil engineering at the University of Po. And my advisors are Gil Villadier Cabot and Christian Laborderi. And now, welcome to my animated video presentation about my results in my second year of PhD, estimation of fracture energy from hydraulic fracture test on mortar and rock at geothermal reservoir temperatures. In short, my project had to do with a characterization of fracture networks generated by hydraulic fracture, in other words, the increase in permeability, as a basis for designing and understanding an EGS. For example, the water pressure force open cracks and the permeability is enhanced. Motivation and objectives. The principal motivation is the poor permeability control that happens in the rock which generates the need of hydraulic fracture to increase the mobility of digital systems. And the objectives is to study the influence of the temperature on the hydraulic fracture process and develop a new technique to estimate fracture energy under condition of a geothermal reservoir. And finally, to explain the effect of temperature of fracture energy. Therefore, for this project, we use an allowable model of an EGS a laboratory scale used to emulate a real geothermal reservoir like in this picture. Methodology. In summary, this part was in two stages. For example, mechanical and hydromechanical characterization in mortar and rock samples. Like permeability and hydraulic fracture tests at 20 and 100 degrees Celsius. The permeability was made by injecting oil under pressure in a hollow cylinder of the sample at 20 and 100 degrees Celsius. In this graphic, we can see the evolution of injected fluid flow rate as a function of the ejection pressure in synthetic and rock sample. And the fluid flow rate was estimated by the Pump Works software. We report here the use of method based on an energy balance during hydraulic fracture tests. The test consisted now in applying a constant flow rate of oil to the mortar and rock sample and 20 and 100 degrees Celsius after the permeability test. The fracture energy is obtained from a balance of kinetic potential and pressure energies involved in the hydraulic fracture test. Now we can see the comparison of the poor pressure evolution of some specimen at different temperatures. Now we can see in this graphic the fracture energy result. For example, for the synthetic rocks at room temperature test, we obtained a fracture energy of 94 joules per square meters. Now we have some conclusions. The method provides fracture energies that are consistent with the literature data on similar materials. It's also found that temperature has an influence on the fracture energy since it increases upon heating. Before, we can speculate that in a geothermal reservoir the fractures generate will be directed towards the coldest places. That's it, it takes needed more energy to generate a fracture in places with a higher temperature. References and finally, if you want to have more information, you can access the paper or this project published in the Rock Mechanics and Engineering Journal with the next QR code using your cell phone camera. I am Omar Rodriguez Villarreal and thank you so much for your attention.